Hey guys, it's Ashley, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. We're located in Pine Hall, North Carolina. We are by appointment only, and the best way to reach me is 828-773-4500. So guys, this is actually videoed on my YouTube twice. Um, I sold this trailer new. I sold it again. It's back here again. Now, you wonder why does it keep coming back? Well, it's because people change their minds. This is a great trailer. Actually, the last three situations have been life changes. Have absolutely nothing to do with the trailer. There is not an issue with it. So I definitely want to point that out because I know you're going to see the three videos of this trailer. But as you guys know, I put everything in real time. Um, so, new video. It is a 2021 8009 RWS. This has no mid tack. This keeps it short, compact, but yet it does have a tack area in the back. So, pewter in color, all aluminum. It does have the smoke plexi in the windows, or not in the windows, but in the back and the stock side. Um, I'm fighting against a generator today. Archie's here washing, so Annie just washed this one, so it's a little wet. Dual hydraulic jacks. It does not have a stainless nose. I actually like it. Two batteries, two propane tanks. It is a nine foot short wall. So nine foot short wall. All right, you'll see it has an escape door and this would be your tack area. Or you can take this out. So um, you also have another divider wall. A customer that did have this actually put separate dividers in this trailer to kind of like put it in different sections. So if you had small animals, goats, um, small cow, anything like that, you can actually section it off. I can't actually do it with the saddle rack in it. The saddle rack actually has to come out, um, but it, it actually works quite well to have separate spots. It has two butterfly back doors, aluminum wheels. It does have the step into the escape door there, so you can go in and out that way as well. It does have the rear rubber bumpers. It does have the two 50-50 back doors. So stepping in the trailer, like I said, it's a little bit hard for me to explain. You can watch all these videos and kind of get the gist of it. But basically this trailer has one divider on the slant. Um, you can fit multiple horses in here. You can fit all kinds of things, an ATV. This back gate, you'll see in the pictures. I mean, again, it, it's super hard for me to do in videos, but this aluminum back gate is a butterfly back gate as well. And it folds and makes another box to the back. So essentially you've got three boxes. They're all different sizes, of course. Um, let me see if I can open this up while yeah, I can get this open. So this actually opens up completely if you wanted to, like I said, to do an ATV or four wheeler or something along that, that line. Walk through door. That's that other divider I was telling you about. And that divider folds like this and makes a box here, a box here when you have that gate shut. So guys, I'm trying to do my best to explain this trailer. It is seven, six tall. Uh, a couple of things, um, the mat is torn here. This one mat has a tear here and a little tear here. Other than that, no issues in this horse box. It's in great shape. Just want to point out that about that, um, that, uh, excuse me, mat. I have all, I'm going to have all the, uh, box length and everything in my um, ad whenever we do it but this trailer is I'm pretty sure it's like a 26 box no don't hold me to that never mind <laughs> all right so I'm gonna step in the LQ it has inside outside speakers it does have a power awning this is a considered next generation they have now changed that to summit but that means this is an all real wood interior it's super pretty it does have soft touch walls it has a rear kitchen so all these cabinets are real wood so it's got a rear kitchen with a double sink two burner glass top stove it does have a flip up counter 
This couch does make a bed. It has drawers underneath the couch for storage. It does have a section up here for storage above the couch. Steps, two steps up to the bed. Bed area does have cabinets all the way to the left of the nose. It does have a very deep corner cabinet that does have the access to put a TV there if you'd like, but I'm getting ready to spin around. The TV behind me actually works quite well um, to see in the bed and actually spins around to see the kitchen area and you can see it from the couch. Why do I say all this? I have lived in this layout before, um, for a month actually, so I know it well. So it has a TV here on a swing arm and like I said, you can swing that all the way around does have a microwave spinning on around. Um, it has a big fridge, which is a great thing. Does have a pantry, which is another great thing. It does have a drawer for storage, a big drawer there um, underneath the uh, big fridge. I've been said to open cabinets, I need to. So I'm trying to start open cabinets in these trailers and try to give people a little bit. The sun is shining in this window perfectly so it's putting a glare on my video and my pictures so sorry about that guys bathroom it does have a sink and vanity i will tell you this sink and vanity is small you cannot i cannot get my shoulders in so you have to kind of stand outside this sink bowl so just full disclosure it is it is a sink and vanity in this bathroom but it is not very wide that's very notorious in the eight foot not eight wide nine foot units and the seven wide. So it does have a cabinet here, pretty deep and actually a uh, great space for towels and whatnot. Uh, a mirror has been mounted on the solid um, door that it's not, yeah, yeah. Pocket door, not solid door, excuse me. This one is a pocket door, not a solid door. Um, so pocket door to the bathroom. It does have a fantastic fan. This unit does have ducted AC propane furnace. That's a bonus. This shower is the corner shower, but it's it's quite big. Skylight above. So soft touch on the walls. I think I said that. Spinning around. Give you kind of a view from this angle. Really comfortable layout. Um, again, I've lived this layout. I, I really like it. It is one of the best layouts to keep it compact and short, being a nine foot short wall with no slide. Um, so just a couple tidbits about that. I'm trying to kind of spin around a little bit. Gosh, the sun's killing me. Um, it's this time of day. So 8009 RWS stock combo. Um, back and back out. This trailer is in excellent shape. I don't have anything really to complain about it about other than the one mat. Um, it is a very versatile trailer. And again, the three parties that are, yes, the three parties that own this trailer prior loved it. Absolutely loved it. Again, they all three had major, major life changes. Um, had nothing to do with the trailer, but Full disclosure, there are three videos up of this trailer and that would be why. All right, guys, Carolina Trailer Sales, carolinatrailersales.com. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching.